We come bearing gifts. Where is Danny? Auntie Yee boomed. Auntie Yee's voice was so loud I could hear it upstairs as I pulled my sweatshirt over my head and zipped up my jeans. It was like she needed everyone along the high street to hear what she was saying. I flicked through my sketchbook to the drawing I had done last week after Auntie Yee's visit. Cyborg devils of the house of Yee. I'd drawn her daughter with spiky devil horns. Auntie Yee was a robotic despot who owned a mansion full of lethal lipsticks. One turn of the lid and kaboom, you were toast. I hadn't added any words, but I would let Ravi fill those bits in when I met him in the park later. He was my comic wingman. He did the speech bubbles to my drawings. I shoved my sketchbook into my yellow backpack and hopped downstairs in my slippers. Like always, Auntie Yi looked like she had just stepped out of a hair salon, and a nail salon, and a ladies' fashion boutique. 